my wife uh, decided to surprise me and buy a electric jack for our travel trailer replacing the hand crank that came original with uh, the trailer so I'm going to be doing that install today and part of the installation is I got to add a fuse um, in line on the positive side that connects to the battery uh, this manufacturer uh, actually sent a circuit breaker to be placed in line which I like if it blows you can reset it um, of course if it blows you want to make sure you find out why make sure it wasn't a short in the system but it does have a resettable breaker on it uh, this unit is the quick jack JQ 3500 B for black on this unit the black is actually the positive side I've already tested that to make sure that was correct so what we're going to do is I'm going to remove about three-eighths of an inch of the sheathing on the wire and then on the line side that goes to the battery, the load side right here, I'm going to do the same. Go ahead and remove about three-eighths of an inch. And that's about half the connector itself. You can pick up a wire crimping tool at any place that you get the wire terminals. I like the ones that I've got here that are just these are strictly uh, wire cutters and then I have one that's actually my crimping tool a little more expensive but I like the job that they do the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install some shrink tube over the top of that to help protect it this crimp, this uh, particular tubing actually has a uh, sealant inside so once it actually shrinks over the top that sealant actually helps to make it watertight this is going to be connected actually near the battery at this time but I still want to keep the keep moisture out as much as possible out of the connection so go ahead and just twist her on select the appropriate crimp make sure it's all the way in there before you start Give her all you got. Before you continue, give it a pull test. Make sure that ain't going to come out. Make sure it is. Got an excellent crimp. Now we want to double check, make sure we're going to the load side. Just a little twist of the wires, make sure they're all together, that you're not going to get any frays sticking out. Again, make sure it's pressed in as you start to crimp. Give her all she's got. Do one more pull test. That thing ain't going nowhere. Take slide her over. Let me grab my heat gun. That is done. Nice and shrunk all the way around. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is actually some of that sealant actually coming out. So now, got to add some ends for the battery. I don't know why I put that stuff away. not really going to be needed right here but I, I kind of like uh, the look of it once it's done 
the finished product. So I'm going to put more shrink tube on. Of course I'm going to trim this end. Again about three-eighths of an inch. Make sure it's twisted. Just when you're shrink, shrinking these, you want to make sure that you don't get too far in to where you're actually going to be, uh, the nut or whatever is connecting to this is actually going to be uh, this is going to be in the way of your uh, connection. All right, there it is. Got it connected up, ready to install. See you out at the trailer.